Oh yeah, what's up guys? It's Curtis Pike. My friends call me Big C. I'm back in action today. We're in Photopia and we're continuing our series where I show you how to be the best darn video editor, content creator, YouTuber you can be. And we're using free software and free tools only. So any of you that want to get started and you don't have a ton of money or you're not sure if this is for you, roll with me. I'm going to show you how to do it and show you how to do it free. In this one, I'm going to show you how to cut out a background image or how to remove background images and background noise and just isolate a particular object. What am I talking about? Let me show you. You see here, this is the background. I've got some old school Atari games and it's photographic, photographed against like a blanket or a couch. But I don't want this background gray stuff and the couch and the, and the blanket and I just want the games. So how did I do it? Well, there you go. I did it and I cut out the, all the other stuff and it's quite easy to do. So let me show you how to do it. I'm going to delete these two images and we shall start from scratch. Okay, so oops, I gotta hit the trash button. Never mind. Okay, so the first step, if you're following along with me, grab the image that you want to work with. Mine is located in my teaching folder, and I'm just gonna drag and drop it. And presto, there she goes. It's dragged and dropped in. And this is a free stock image, so if you follow follow along, it's a free image on pexels.com. Okay, good. Now, so we've got this image, we drag and drop it in. What is the next step? simple. We want to now go up to the top, select, hit select, and now you're going to see something called magic cut. Now this takes a few seconds to load, so if you get a, if you, if it's not quite where it needs to be, or it takes a few seconds, not to panic. Once you load it up, you're going to see something like this, and it's done a pretty good job of isolating the image, but this part here needs to be kind of chopped out, because you can see that that's partly where the shadow is, and that's not part of the actual game. And then it missed part of the top here. So very simply, there are three different colors. Uh, the main ones are the red and the, the green and the red. And here's the thing. At the top left here, you're going to see that it defaults to a soft brush. And the size is about 96 pixels. So I'm going to go way down and I'm going to drop this to 20 pixels. So what I'm doing first off is I'm reducing the size of the brush. And if I hover over something like this, you'll see that it's a very small brush. You see how, you see how it's just that little circle moving around? That's okay. So green, I'm going to hover it here. Green basically means foreground. So this is what we want to keep. This missile command, Pac-Man and Defender is in the foreground. So we want this. We want to basically just apply a green stroke to it. So this is stuff that we want to keep. So I'm just going to draw a little green over here and see what happens over here. Okay, good. That got most of it right away. So you'll see this is the original image and it's got pretty much all of this stuff I want. So I'm just going to make sure that that's all green. So okay, good. Now we're going to go over to the right side here and then you're going to see background. So we want to take out some stuff. Now this has done a very good job, I'll be honest with you, of taking out the background. So all of this stuff, this red stuff here, this background here is noise. This, did it catch this? Let's see if we can get in here. Let's see if that'll take some of that background out. See what it did there? It reduced a little bit there. And then this shadow here is all background too. And that didn't do too much, so I might color in a little closer. And actually, that is catching a bit more. And then you'll see that there's a little bit more shadow here. Again, for every... Okay, see, that's good. That went way too far. That pulled out part of the front there. So I'm going to Command Z or Control Z, and that's going to undo it. So here we go. So we've kind of got the majority of it, but it's not perfect, but that's okay. Now, the next step is we can create a raster mask, a selection, or a new layer. I almost always recommend clicking on OK, new layer, because now it turns off the bottom layer and it gives us the top layer. And this has done a pretty good job. So if we compare it to the, what's underneath it, I turn it on and off, it's done a good job, but I gotta get rid of some of this stuff too, right? So let's go over here to the left side and on the left side, and we're going to see something called the eraser tool. So I'm going to select the eraser tool. I'm going to make sure that the brush is still very, very small, let's say 15 pixels. And now I'm going to do some fine tuning. So I'm going to start doing some erasing. So you'll see here as I erase over here, pulling out that part there. And I'm just basically getting rid of all of the bits and pieces that I don't think work. So this here is not part of the image. So I would chop this out. So I'm just erasing this out here, making it nice and nice and tight. It doesn't have to be perfect, but again, this is just a technique to show you how to do it. I've gone in there. I'm going to go in up here. 
I'm going to erase that part out just like that, guys. And this is how you create and remove things from the background using Photopea. This is a free piece of software, and it's quite amazing when you get going. So again, it's just uh, magic cuts, and then use the two different brush colors, make it into a new layer from a new layer when you click on new layer, and then just use the eraser and brush in the parts and pieces and erase the pieces that uh, you need to, to make it perfect. That's all there is to it, guys. Thanks for watching. I have a ton more stuff coming up. Stay tuned. Be back soon.